Varsity Club, welcome back to another classic. The Coyotes are ready to run. You guys have been showing great love to the series, so do me a favor. If you're at all excited for this series, like the video if you haven't already. Let's try to get 2,000 likes on this one. Subscribe to the channel for more episodes and leave a comment down below with feedback, your favorite parts. I want to hear it all. Now, look, I know week one was a shocker. I honestly didn't even think we'd win a game until like week five or six or something crazy, but we popped off. It was in thrilling fashion, and it was against Michigan, who's trash in case you didn't know but just to make things more difficult we've already been playing on heisman i had the sliders bumped up for the cpu and lowered for us so it would be a challenge somehow we still be michigan but i've increased things a little bit more to make it more difficult this week is tulsa it should honestly still be a tough one now i'm not going to give too much of a recruiting update until we start landing a couple of guys or move up some boards a little bit more but there are we have 20 people on the board and that's going to get lowered down we're still scouting and figuring out are people worth it or are they not? We have a couple of guys on top of our board. We have Pat Mosby, and to show you sort of what we scouted from him so far, about 70% of the way through, 91 speed, 88 injury, 90 jumping, stamina, agility are great. No accuracy and throw power are trash. We know he's not going to be playing there. His carrying's a D, so he's terrible there, but it looks like he probably is going to be like maybe a, a safety or a corner or maybe a linebacker. I don't know, but this dude is fast. He's got really high elusiveness. This dude could be really fun to watch. So we're going to try him out, see what he can ultimately do, and hopefully we can recruit him, but we're a little bit of ways down the board. Quarterback I'm looking at heavily is Nathan Stratton out of Lumberton, North Carolina. This dude is 6'7", 231 pounds. He's an athlete. Looking at the stuff, he's got decent speed at a 76. He's a 71 overall now. Again, we still have 30% to scout for him. Though power is great, though accuracy means he's going to be redshirted, but there is potential again for this guy. His top schools kind of far down no chance that we get him but again play guys the board we can talk about him forever we're just not going to cover recruiting until again we move a little bit closer to some of these guys and figure out who the core we're going after is i know i mentioned it in the previous video as well but it's to remind you guys every single record is held by coach mervin mcmurvin he set the standard there was no program before him there may not be a program after him mcmurvin is the guy that has all the records so you can see what he's got for passing and shipley broke his passing yards per game record receiving mcmurvin's everywhere except for lonnie downs breaking the receiving yards in a game record defense you see what's happening there logan nesbitt obviously breaking our sack record and then rushing these honestly might stand for a while we have our first official home game and there's like Maybe a thousand people in the stands. Not a lot. We've, we're not occupying. I mean, we just beat Michigan. Where are you at? <laughs> Please show up. Look, a big thing for today's game is just trying to establish the running game. It's been, it's been really tough, right? Moody, we gave him the prime time number. He's just out here getting cooked. But look at Shipley. I see you, big fella. Third down and three. Shipley ready to go. Got this guy running here. Moody out of the open field. You know, he was a monster in the passing game last week. Let's see what he can do here this week. Shipley and Moody both in the backfield right now. Shipley again, keeping it. Hey, look. Mega move a little bit, okay? Second and inches. Shipley under center. Couple of options. That probably wasn't the best option. Okay, we got a decent look at what our offense can do and then that happened let's see what the defense can actually do again nesbitt had a monster i think he had 10 tackles couple for a loss last week he was on his a game for sure minor tulsa not exactly a powerhouse but they are higher rated than us right now so we've got that to be watching out for all right so the redirection here but jackson chamberlain with the big tackle here we go third and five nesbitt and company bringing the power but landon rolls gets a sack fourth and 12 they got a punt it Okay, so we had a really bad mistake on offense the last time. We're going to try to do better here, okay? I believe in our team. Shipley and company ready to go. Okay, maybe maybe we weren't ready. Tulsa's got a couple of dudes in the front seven that can hurt us in a couple of ways here. This is... Okay. 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 This is in Michigan in a lot of different ways. Are we panicking? Yeah. Are we forcing things? Yeah. Are we doing a lot of bad things? Absolutely. We didn't do that. Second and 10. Tulsa again in scoring position right now. We're trying to get the job done. Okay. The quarterback breaking some tackles. Reed Jr. brings him down. Tulsa is trying to strike first on the board right now. We've had really good drives that have just been halted from really dumb mistakes. We're trying to stop that from happening here. They got Stokes open and we just can't stop him. That's the first completed pass we've given up all day. I mean, they've had the best possible field position to start today. Chamberlain trying to bring the blitz. They go deep. If that was a field goal, it's money. You know, we got a pass coming here. Second and goal. No shot. They run it. 
Chamberlain hits with the boom. This is big. They just play the drive. They go with the run up the middle. Shockley, though, is there. Zion Shockley gets the big tackle. It's fourth and goal. Forcing them to punt. You never know if they're going to fake it. I honestly hear Cascade Valley. We just got to be prepared in all scenarios here. This kick is up. This kick is money. They strike first, and we got our work cut out for us. The spot we've seen somewhat progress in has been the run game. The read option game has been really good. We're going to go right back to it and just see what exactly we have there. Bradley in motion. Okay. Okay, JJ. Not exactly a great start. When your starting quarterback has three turnovers in the first quarter, being down 3-0 is not terrible. It could have been significantly worse. And oh, no. This QB is killing us on the ground now. First and goal again. Zach Smith's running wild right now. They go to the running back this time, but we're not having it. Keeping the pressure on. Second and goal. Do not give up a touchdown. Do your best to shut them out here from scoring a touchdown. And Chamberlain and company get him in the backfield again. And the one spot that we have been okay at is stopping people running the ball up the middle. Quarterbacks, we can't stop. But man, running backs, we've been able to control that pretty easily. They go here and Shockley gets destroyed. Josh Stewart's in the end zone and we're down 10-0. In the incredibly short history of the Cascade Valley Coyotes, this has been the worst quarter of all time. It'll go down in history and we'll hopefully forget about it. Moody, they just won't block for the man. I don't know what exactly has to change, but if Miller Moody has over a thousand yards rushing this season, I'll be incredibly surprised. I mean, these dudes just won't give him anything. Big third down conversion coming up. Got our guy wide open though. Lonnie Downs, the most shorthanded receiver we got. Miller Moody in a quarterback. Boomer boss time to play here. Kyron Christensen, whose number we haven't really called today. Oh my God, one block and he's gone. Five wide here for Shipley and company. Passing. Hasn't been our forte, but Kyron Christensen finally gets a catch today. Big 33 coming up. Got a guy wide open. Christensen back to back plays. What a juke. Broke some ankles and picks up 18 big yards. Shipley's throwing two incomplete passes today. Both of them have been interceptions. So other than that, he's been stupendous. Oh my God, we got a guy out here floating. Romello, Romello Dawkins. 27 yards in the end zone. Shipley, Dawkins, they connect. We got right back in this game. Okay. There's momentum back here for Cascade Valley. We're in business. We're cooking with fish oil right now. First and 10 again. Tulsa feeling the pressure. They go out here to the flats. Boomer's going to catch that one for two yards. Second and eight. Nesbitt and company trying to lock up here. Nesbitt is there and he gets the sack. Let's go. Hey, look, the way Nesbitt's playing so far this season, the dude might come out here with like a 15, 20 sack year. Like he's on fire through two games. Third and 16. Watch the run. I have to go across the middle. Shockley though is going to make a good play. And Smith can't get that one to go. They're punting. Got the lead to three. Defense is playing absolutely fantastic. The 17 people that came to this game are pretty excited if they're Cascade Valley fans right now. Feeling the pressure. Throw it back across his body. Bradley's going to catch that one for eight yards. Well, second and short, heavy front here by Tulsa. <laughs> Miller Moody just wants a block, okay. That was Zaven Collins in the tackle. Dude is an absolute stud. Obviously got drafted just recently here in the NFL. The dude came to play. Third and four. Oh, no. That was risky. Luckily, it was just an incompletion. Let's just punt it and keep moving. Psych, you thought we were punting? It's Cascade Valley, baby. We ain't punting. You gotta be out your mind. We got a couple of guys here that make some plays. Christensen, Dawkins, Downs. A little play action never hurt anybody. Getting hit while you throw it definitely did. Back on defense. Was that a risky play call? Yeah. Did I immediately regret that after we got hit? 100%. 100% we regretted that immediately. Smith, oh, Jesus Christ. Smith making plays and then he picks up 18. I don't know what exactly Smith had for breakfast this morning, but give it to my entire team, please. Whatever it is. Whatever it is, I need... All of it, all of it. Second is short. Trying to get some pressure on Smith. He dumps down quick to Boomer. Boomer's gonna get hit by Shockley, but he does get the first down. Smith staying his shotgun. We gotta watch that dude to run, man. We gotta, we're kinda like covering the middle, but we're also QB spying right now, cause that dude scares me. Boomer! He's incredible. First and goal now, we gotta lock up. Big play, Nesbitt hitting Corey Taylor in the backfield. This is what I need right here. A big defensive stop. Do not give up any points. A field goal is okay. A touchdown, I'm crying. 
and uh, no one's catching it. Third and goal. Nesbitt bringing the heat. Nesbitt. What? Sam Crawford Jr. was in the right place at the right time. We whiffed on the sack. And we whiffed on the pick. In Tulsa, they've extended their lead to almost 10. So the last drive, we went for it on fourth down. Didn't exactly work. We had an opportunity to get a major sack and a major play on defense. It turned into a touchdown for them. We're down bad. I really feel like one thing we should be recruiting is the offensive line. And it's not a big part of my strategy currently. That'll change after today's game because we need some run blocking. I truly believe we get some run blocking. Oh, help me. Hi, Ron Christensen. He lost him. Believe if we get some run blocking just to help out, we're going to be fine. But what a play by Conrad. That should have, could have, and would have been a pick. But he said, not today, demon. Picking up here, first and 10, minute and a half left. You've what? We're down bad right now. We're down bad. We thought we had a really good drive going. And then Mr. Wright said, uh, no, he was in the right place at the right time. We have four turnovers by our starting quarterback in the first half. I'm crying. If we're going to come out with a victory today, we have got to make sure we don't give up any points here. The remainder of the first half, no points. Get a little four and out. Okay. That's, that's not it. First and 10 Smith and company. They're carving us up. Halftime adjustments are going to be real. Shockley though. Hey, look, not a tackle, but he forced him out of bounds. Second and 11, Tulsa's chomping at the bit to try to get more points on the board. They go underneath, Nesbitt's there, but it stops him about four yards before. This is major. Under a minute left, this is a big third down. Trying to get the pressure, we got the pressure. They are still going to get that Juan Carlos Santana's gonna keep it moving down to the four yard line. Maybe we were just riding, you know, the emotional roller coaster of our first college game as a program against Michigan, but man, are we down bad at the moment. First and goal, they go to the fullback and he's gonna go into the end zone untouched. We are down 23, about to be 24 to seven, with 40, 46 seconds in a dream. Help us. First and 10, 34 seconds on the clock. Just make something happen. I believe, oh my God, 23 is a genius. It's Zayvon Collins, no wonder. Don't have to get major yards here. Just get enough. Oh God. Run, Miller Moody. Hey, get him out of bounds. I'll take it. 12 yards. Struggle is real. Risking it. <laughs> he almost did a lot. Switch the things up a little bit. Put a Dawkins deep. Dawkins does have some burners on him. As does our man Downs. Oh, this is bad. This is... Thank God that man has no eyes. This is likely the last play before we go on half. We're saying a lot of our dudes on deep routes and just honestly praying to Tom Cruise for something positive. Oh, he did have a step on him. Okay, then. So we're going into halftime down bad. Some positives to take from, but the turnovers, they're killing us. Tulsa has been dominating this game. A lot of it honestly comes from their defense not so much their offense like their offense has been solid but it's really the defense for them that has led the way and yes we've made some dumb mistakes but they forced four turnovers in the first half that's completely on them like they did that but jackson chamberlain tired of it five tackles one for a loss so far for jackson chamberlain the young fella is ready he's trying to lead this team getting some sort of spark and we're gonna force i think a field goal right here they've hit one it was 20 yards this one's quite a bit deeper see if they can actually nail this one though has been a company trying a little misdirection. They jump up. This one is perfectly hit. It is down the middle, and I don't think it gets any more perfect than that. 27 7. The thing we don't want to do, though, is just get in chuck it mode where you're constantly chucking it down the field. We want to try something with the running game, and we want to get the ball in Miller Moody's hands because the young fella can make some plays. We just got to get it to him. I mean, the man is averaging 16 yards per catch right now on the ground. We just. It might be negative yardage at this point because no one's blocking for him. Oh, look at this. He got blocks. Miller Moody with some blocks. Picked up eight yards. Help him. Second and two. We're going to switch the ball to the left-hand side. Let Miller Moody. Okay. <laughs> okay. We lost six of the eight yards. For some reason, I thought they were going to block for him on two consecutive plays. I'm here to let you know that I was wrong. Third and nine. Young fella underneath, Romello Dawkins. He got it. 
10 for 20 for Shipley. I mean, oof. the three interceptions hurts. The fumble obviously hurts too. It's just a lot that puts us down bad. Most of us are blocking in the running game. They know what's coming every time. Is this what playing the Houston Astros is like? They're just like banging trash cans, giving away your plays or whatever. What is happening? Help us. Second and 11. Shipley fumbled again. Right now, we're in danger of ruining Shipley's confidence. So I think it's time we just, we get him up out of here. Jojo Johnson's coming in. Doesn't really have a great arm, but the man's fast. He's gonna test him deep on his first one. Him and Lonnie Downs just connected. And I'm not mad. I see you, Jojo. Hey, look, we get a touchdown here. Things could happen. If the defense can just do their job, we could be in a really, really fun spot, especially if Miller Moody can get some yards. Little second and two option. Jojo Johnson cutting back up the middle. That's a first down, ladies and gentlemen. I think we found something in their armor right now that's going to help us out. First and goal again. And with that read option, Jojo's going to cut it up. Jojo goes in untouched. We got a touchdown. First time since the fourth quarter we scored a touchdown. Maybe we're back. Defense, do your job. We're down 13. We're undefeated. We can do this, I believe. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. Jack, Zach Smith out here making a couple of adjustments. Nesbitt whiffs a little bit, but Landon Rawls is ready to go. Lost the three. A little second and 13 action. Nesbitt, we're bringing him pretty much every time. What a hit. Vaca is ready to go. Lost the three. I love what Isaac Vaca did there because he not only got the tackle for a loss, but he made sure he tackled the quarterback on the side. He was going to pitch the ball to the running back, which means he probably would have got for 15, 20, maybe even 30 yards on that one. Little halfback draw. They're definitely trying to. Okay, we're choking. Okay, okay, we're down bad. We don't know how to tackle here, and I'm crying. Okay, we were in a really good spot. <laughs> we had the guarantee punt coming, and then we did that. So, I'm crying. Nice tackle there, Jackson Chamberlain, ready to go. Pitching the line a little bit, playing for the run. We're ready for a pass, but we're just gonna watch the run first and foremost every single time now. Go for the pass. They go for a check down. Jordan Damon and company gonna get the tackle. Third and four. Got a couple guys moving around here. We're trying to get some pressure on Smith. No, we couldn't get the... All I got to do is put your hand up. And we're getting the ball on a punt. This is tough, man. Having a 13-point lead was bad, but if they extended to 16, we need two two-point conversions on top of our touchdowns to make something big happen. They're going for the quick play. Shockley gets him quickly, but he gets six. What I think we need right now, honestly, is an interception. Or fumble recovery. Honestly, I'll take either one. They've gotten 60% of their first down conversions. Not today. Stop them right here. Ah! Oh, God. They went for the screen. We got completely bunched and picked on that one. And then they got the touchdown. This was going to be a ridiculously tough comeback. It just got even more difficult. So our team has to work it out for them. They are down officially 20 points at the moment. It's not impossible, but you know the deal. It is looking... Pretty improbable. Oh, improbable. But Kalen Harris. I said Jojo Johnson does not have an arm, but ladies and gentlemen, the young fella, the lefty. He's got two passes for 88 yards completed. I'm not mad. Can't believe the defense is out here giving up yards like that, but honestly, I'll take it. Maybe they're under, you know, maybe they're doubting us. I don't know. I don't know. The pressing Dawkins. I kind of like that opportunity here. A little play action. Oh my God, this dude's wide open. Christensen, we're so close. If we let him up the field, that's probably a touchdown. Getting a touchdown here with five minutes left in the game means that we've got, honestly, in my opinion, plenty of time. We're gonna put Moody in an underneath route, see if we can lead him here. Oh, Moody's wide open, easy. Moody, welcome to the end zone, okay? Maybe they won't block for you in the running game very often. But in the passing game, we're gonna find you every single game. Do your job defense right here, right now. Lock up, a turnover. Get some sacks, stop him for a loss. We need it all right now. We need it all. Man, Jackson Chamberlain's been everywhere today. Nice tackle for a loss. Pinch our defensive line here. Second and 11. Watching the passing. Oh, they're going deep. We got multiple guys here. Oh, a pick would have been huge, but I'll take the deflection. Nice work, Teddy. Oh, my God. Get the crowd hype, Nesbitt. Get him hype. Just stop here. No first downs. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Strip that. <gasps> no. The hard part about that is Nesbitt had the middle of the field. He can't go all the way over with that guy. The other guy didn't release. Here we are. Back to back. First downs again for Tulsa. Big tackle though by Jordan Damon. The corner comes up big there. 
That's the first tackle of the day by Damon. You got to love it. Second and 13 now. Tulsa not really wasting a ton of clock. We got dudes ready to try to hit him if they come across the middle, though. 35, we're coming with a blitz. Some of our guys aren't necessarily covering in the best spot, and that was the guy I was worried about. Phillips is going to go down the field. He's going to get stopped inside the five. We should have manned a line, but it was too late. They saw the mismatch. They went for it, and they got a whole lot of yards because of it. Touchdown here definitely ruins our chances of coming back, but we can at least still try to fight. Smith again, probably going to waste a ton of clock. Now they know they can run the clock, milk it, eliminate the time that we have to try to get some points on the board. It's a smart play. I don't blame them at all. Do I hate it? Yes, but do I blame them? Not particularly. Clock's winding down. Nesbitt coming up the middle. Nesbitt's going to get a big tackle. We're going to use our first time out here. Coach McMurvin in the suit is sweating. You got dudes everywhere. No shot. He caught that. I'm sure we even had pass interference on that, and we still couldn't stop him. I hate it here. Tulsa has definitely come to play today. You know, they have definitely come to play, and they're putting a little bit of a hurting on us. It's fine. Okay, Dawkins, would you like to catch it? Christensen, you know, just get open, young fella. I'll take it. Any positive yards here is a plus. We're a young team. We got a lot to figure out. It's just this is losing to Tulsa is not exactly what I really had in mind today. Oh my God, is no one going to cover Kalen Harris? I'll take that big fella, 20 more yards. I think something we've also done a really poor job of is getting Kalen Harris involved. Like again, the dude's a stud. He is our best receiver, even though he's a tight end. And you haven't really seen his name called like a ton today. And that's on us. One of the most difficult parts for us though is just figuring out who's who, who can do what, and really who's going to be one of the best players for us. There's a lot of question marks all over the field. Even the quarterback, you're seeing that we've got question mark after question mark there. That being said, I think Jojo Johnson has done a phenomenal job. He has two incompletions. He's come in and he's played, I'm going to be honest, extremely well. We'll see what he's kind of got in the future a little bit. But for now, I don't know if he's necessarily ready to take on a primetime team. You went for it twice on fourth down. You've got it <laughs> none of those times. Jojo Johnson, though, in the game. Zayvon Collins is a dog. We tried to outrun that dude, and he said, not today, demon. Not today. So our first home game is going to end in a fashion that honestly wasn't exactly ideal. We had such a good start, and then it was turnover after turnover after turnover. This screen pass we're seeing here was one of the most difficult parts of the game for us because that really just sealed the deal. Defensively, we saw some bright spots. We also saw a ton of bad ones. Positive things, negative things. We'll take it all. We'll figure out our game plan. But we've got to do better, even as a first-year program. Recapping the stats for today's game, Jojo Johnson, 7-9, 153 yards, one touchdown, no turnovers, got sacked one time today, but he had a better day out there than J.J. Shipley. You see the stats, you see that it wasn't great. The senior, he's got some work to be done. On the ground, Miller Moody <laughs> ran for 12 yards today on 10 attempts. Look, it's not his fault. He had some moments where he was great. It's just, he won't block for the man. In the air, Kyron Christensen played pretty well today, 5 for 93. Miller Moody, 4 for 51. He was great in the receiving game. Uh, Kalen Harris, 3 for 69. We see Romello Dawkins, 2 for 36 with a touchdown. Lonnie Downs had another big grab for 65 yards, total on two. And then Troy Bradley got involved a little bit too. Defensively, there's a lot to love from our linebacker core. I mean, Jackson Chamberlain had a dog of a game today. 10 solo tackles, mind you, none assisted. Three tackles for a loss. Zion Shockley, our strong safety, had nine, uh, with one of those being an assisted tackle. Logan Nesbitt had eight, four of those being for loss. Logan Rawls, four, three for a loss. Sacks today, we only had two. Landon Rawls again with one. Logan Nesbitt got himself one. Interceptions, we're still trash. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. We'll catch you on the next one.